good afternoon and thanks for joining me because you know what it's business as usual here it's simply too good and i've got my apron on i'm ready to cook a fabulous recipe for you today out of the wonderful book five this is a great book and i'm making a stir fry and it's the chinese beef i think this is such a simple recipe to make but you get everything in a bowl you get all your veggies your protein and it's fantastic but what i like about it it's easy to do. So let's look at the ingredients we need. Um, but actually, before I do that, let's talk about the winner winners from last week who were very, very excited to get a personally signed copy of book two. Jackie Self Septon, Kim Lane and Mark Wright were all very happy to get a new book sent to them today. Now, what we've got here is the ingredients for this Chinese beef. Now, we've got some 500 grams of the really lean rump steak. And I'll tell you about the variations later. Okay, so we've got... ...of cauliflower, and I'm calling that the gold cauliflower at the moment because it's a bit expensive, isn't it? And I will give you some alternates for that as well. So hang in there. water chestnuts uh, and they're 227 so that's what you need there we need of course some ginger some garlic I've got some teriyaki yes yeah, so let's start with the meat first all right so you can see how lovely and lean this rump is and I think it's fantastic and really a little tip when you're cutting meat especially like the red meat that you want to look for the the grooves what do you call it Bill grain. the grain there's always a proper word for things and I never remember it so you've got a grain there so you want to cut against the grain you know what this grains going this way and so I'm going to be cutting like that so this is strips so we want strips for the stir fry and you can actually use different proteins in this stir fry recipe. So if, for example, you, you haven't got any rump. Now look here, this is a big piece here. I'm going to cut that in half and I'm going to slice it because I don't want really big, long strips of the meat. All right, so you don't want rump or you can't find rump uh, in the supermarket right now then you can change it to uh, chicken or you could change it to lamb or for veggio you can use firm tofu so just slicing up the beef remember it's 500 grams recipe I'm making for you today if you've just tuned in hello I'm making you a fabulous stir fry called Chinese beef it's from book five and I just think, you know, as Australians, we love a good stir fry. And I think what I love a stir fry is, as I said before, everything's in the bowl. You don't have to add anything extra to it, apart from maybe rice or noodles, uh, that type of thing. So I'm going to put this back in the bowl here. And here's my beef. It's beautiful and lean. Going to cut that down the middle and into strips. You want, you don't want really big thick strips because the idea is you're either going to be using your chopsticks if you're a bit groovy or you're going to be just using your fork and you want to be able to put, um, put it in your mouth easily. All right. Now, if you're looking at the fat count, the rump works out to be 6.3 grams of fat a serve so it really will fit into your healthy program really super easy now I've got my wok I'm going to turn it on no I won't I'm going to leave my steak I'm a bit excited to get cooking today I need to get rid of this and replace it for the veggies so in the soapy sink give my hands a good wash and now I'll get my other chopping board and this is really important that, you know, we want to stay healthy right now. We're a bit challenged with a lot of things going on. But let's just get fizzy today because that's what I'm about. We need to just look at what we can control and how we can be better and just looking after ourselves. And I think, why not spend some time in the kitchen? All right, so we're going to do the uh, red capsicum. 
we want a cup. Now, if you can't get red capsicum right now, we'll just get whatever colour you can get because I think it's really um, about making it as easy as we can for ourselves. Notice I've cut it in strips similar to what the rump was. I want to try and keep things a little bit together in their sizes. I really like the red in this particular recipe because it has that lovely colour. So, uh, but you know what, yellow would look great in it, green, orange. At this point it's like, what can you get at the supermarket? Then that will work. Let's see, I need a cup. Oh, I'm dropping it. Um, you know what, Aussies, we love a stir fry. So that's fine. And why not? Because it's so easy. And of course, we're not really going to do a lot of takeaways right now or eating out. So this is great to be able to make them at home. Now we're going to do a cup of snow peas. And what all you have to do with the snow peas is see that little um, uh, twig? <laughs> I'm sure there's another name for it. Just pull that off and I'm going to put it in my bin. So I'll show you again. Just pull it off, pull that. It's a bit like the beans, you know, where you've got that little bit of sinew or whatever you call it. And I'm going to keep them whole. You could cut them in half if you want, but there's a cup there ready to go. And we're going, I've got my cauliflower. As I said, I mean, this is like gold at the moment. I mean, crazy prices for some of the veggies and products right now. So let me tell you, um, you know, you can, if you don't want to use cauliflower, if you can't afford it or you can't find it or you can't get snow peas, what do you do? It's called improvise. And I'll tell you about it in a minute. While I'm cooking, we can chat. So I hope you're doing well where you are. Take care of yourself right now. I really want you to hunker down and make sure you're okay. We're doing fine up here on the hill at Budrum. I've got my billy, that's all I need. And I really have an exciting announcement to share with you that's coming in the next newsletter, which will be out, um, when's that coming out, Diane? The first Thursday in April. If you're not signed up, you're gonna wanna hear this because if you love the show, you're gonna be super excited about what we've got planned. All right, so I've got everything good and fabulous. So now I'm gonna turn my wok on. And this is the idea, isn't it? Always prep it up ahead, and then we just chuck it all in and cook it, and hello, there we go. I've already had my rice prepped up. So if you're cooking rice, get that going, you know, before you even start cooking your stir fry because it will take longer than actually this dish to make. And the great news is, remember, low in fat and also low in sodium. Chinese food can be really high in sodium. You know, they use a lot of high sodium products, whereas I try and use it at a minimum. And that's why, you know, it's really good for people with diabetes or heart or cholesterol problems. Yes, you need to be watching your sodium intake, especially with Chinese. All right, so heating it up, I want to get it hot because I want, that's right, I want the sizzle. And so remember, don't just chuck the, the whole lot of the meat in the pan. That's not going to work because you'll just stew it. And we don't want that. So just take it a few pieces at a time. You know, la la la, it's all good. <laughs> Can you hear that sizzle? No, you probably can't. Well, I can and that's what makes me happy. I love a good sizzle. And I'm just going to cook off the meat. Remember, you can make this with chicken, uh, lamb or um, tofu for your veggies, for your veggies. And if you're just joining me, hello, it's Chinese Beef Book 5 happening here today. I've got my wok on and so I've got my apron on as well. So you know what? I'm in my fizzy fabulous place. So I'm going to leave that sizzling for a bit and I'm going to wash my hands again. All right. So I'm now going to put in a teaspoon of crushed ginger and crushed garlic. And of course you can use fresh if you want. You know, good on you. But I can't be bothered. So I like quick and easy and fabulous. So there we go. I'm done. I'm good. Oh my gosh, smell that ginger. Ooh. 
And I'm going to just infuse those beautiful flavours together with the beautiful lean rump steak. Oh my gosh, dinner tonight might be the idea. Now I'm going to just cook this until it's ready and then I'm going to remove it from the wok because if I now start throwing all the veggies in, what's going to happen to this beautiful, tender, juicy rump? Yeah, shoe leather, it will be tasteless. We don't want that. So once your meat is cooked, we're going to take it out. That's looking a bit fabulous. All right. Look how quick that was. I know everybody's thinking, what wok are you using, Annette? Well, it's the Breville. It's the big Breville. I've had it for 100 years and it still doesn't let me down. I mean, Breville don't pay me to say that, but I just thought I'd let you know in case you were interested. All right, so moving this out and just leave it to one side. Now, let's spray it. And then what we add in is a quarter of a cup of water. And so this is where we're going to add the veggies in. And I want to put in the cauliflower and the onion. So I want to cook them first. Let's put them in the sink. All right. Okay, now you're saying, Annette, you're kidding me? I'm on a budget, doll. I can't afford cauliflower right now. Well, I mean, we've lashed out today in our house. While this is cooking for three minutes, I'm going to chat to you about the alternates because this is what we're going to have to do for a little while now. We're going to have to say, okay, well, I can't get this, so what can I swap it for? Let's not make it hard. So, for example, you could, of any of the vegetables here, you could replace them with others. Now, keep with the weight or the measurement. So, for example, I've got one half cups of cauliflower in here right now, so I would, if I did that with broccoli, maybe broccoli is a bit cheaper, um, or I've got some broccoli in the fridge I want to use up, then I would do one and a half cups of broccoli. Got it? But if, for example, you don't get snow peas, well, you could replace it with zucchini, um, carrots. Like, think of the colours, you know, you just want to add something bright and fabulous. I've even done this with diced pumpkin. Because, I mean, who doesn't love a bit of diced keep pumpkin in your stir fry? But what I did is I actually diced it and pre-cooked um, it so that it didn't have to cook much in the wok. So that's just a little tip if you use pumpkin. Green beans would be fantastic instead of the snow peas. Um, hello, eggplant, if you've got some eggplant in there, dice that, chuck it in instead. Bok choy or even cabbage would work. I mean, it's really up to you. Think about what's available and use it. All right, so now we're gonna throw in the red, uh, the red capsicum. Snow peas. Now you could cut them in half if you wanted to make it a bit smaller uh, for yourself. Up to you. And then in goes the water chestnuts. Now the thing with the water chestnuts, and this is why this is one of my favourite stir fries. I mean, look at the colours. Can we just get a shot of that, Billy? Look at that. Don't you want to just get that in your mouth right now? It's fabulous. Oh yeah. Now, with the water chestnuts, it adds a texture to it. It adds a crunch, which I love. So, you know, that's just what I think in this stir fry. The thing is, I have got thousands, or maybe hundreds, or maybe a few stir fry recipes for you in all the books. Let's be honest. You know that every cookbook, I've got at least two or three because I'm obsessed with stir fries. Now, don't forget, if all this fails, Frozen vegetables, hello, they work fine. So I'm just cooking these together. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to put in the sauce and this is where we build up the flavours and make it super fabulous. So I'm going to put in five tablespoons of that um, teriyaki marinade. And this will bring it up. I love a teriyaki flavour, very Chinesey. Put that in. Let's add in two teaspoons of the low salt soy. This is where I keep your heart healthy and your hips happy as well. One, two, and I want two teaspoons of the stock powder. Now, in the 
book I talk about uh, chicken, using the chicken, but if you get the beef um, macelle, then use that if you prefer because we are using beef in this. And, oh my gosh, oh yes, fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me today. I think that we're going to be at home a little bit now. So, uh, you know, go in and, and watch some old movie, uh, old uh, sessions if you're really bored. Now what I'm going to do is I'm adding the beef back in, all right? Whoop. Put that beef back in. Give it a good stir together. Now this says four people. Remember with the rump it's only 6.3 grams of fat, so it's healthy and fabulous. I mean, when you look at this, I mean, who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy? That's right. It's called the Simply Too Good Way. I know. All right. So I'm going to put in now a cup of water because I want to really get some sauce there. So, I mean, we can't have no sauce with our rice. A tablespoon of corn flour. I mean, see, I'm done. I didn't even get a sweat up cooking this. How fabulous. Oh, yeah. So in that water goes, and then all those teriyaki soy flavours will come together and that corn flour will thicken it up nicely. And so bring that to the boil. Now you can freeze this recipe. Um, if you've got leftovers, it'll freeze for a while. So that's really good. And as I said, this is out of my fifth cookbook. And someone's going to win that this week. I know, are you excited? Because you know what else is fabulous about this book? I'm not allowed to brag because, hello, I wrote it. Uh, <laughs> you have not only recipes, but you have a 28-day weight loss plan, a menu plan to follow. I know, you're welcome. So if you want to win that, what are you going to do? I'll just turn that off now because it's fabulous. You've got to like the page. You've got to share. And I think a lot of people at home right now, share with your friends. They'll be grateful for something to watch that's going to help them be healthy right now. And then if you want to win a book, it's, you know what you're going to do. Hashtag simply with the number two. Remember the S-Y-M. Hello, and it's Sim. Simply. So we've got rice. Of course. Now, if you're finding it hard to get rice, let me show you what I found really easy in the shops. And it was these two packets of rice. There's the brown basmati and the normal basmati. And the thing is, I've never really used them because I always make rice. But at this time, it's good to have supplies in your pantry. And what I noticed, and this is where we often don't think to look at the nutritional breakdown on things like rice, but normally uh, um, a half a cup of rice would be like 0 0.1 grams of fat. But when you look at these, because they have a little bit of oil in them, you know, maybe to keep it separated, whatever, you're actually looking at an extra couple of grams of fat. So just, I mean, I know you might go, oh, Annette, who cares? I do, because I want to know how I'm going with my calories. And so, now I've got my rice. Now, can I just show you really quickly what I used to do when I was losing my weight? I would always always measure my rice because you know what I could fill my bowl because I love it especially the basmati rice I love it it's a low GI rice which is why I recommend it and this is what I would do half a cup is all I'm giving myself and it's in a controlled portion so it's enough it's enough with the sauce and the, the dish you know like it, it's all about measurements and um, portions and as I said this is for four people oh my gosh Billy, you feel like a bit of stir fry, Billy? <laughs> Look how fantastic this recipe is. And I say, bring on dinner. Now, I've got some news for you. If you spend over 500, oh, not 500, well, yes, you could do that. <laughs> oh my God. But if you spend over 50 bucks and pay for regular post, I'm going to upgrade you to Express Post at no extra charge because I really want all my Australian addresses to get their products quickly if they need them. Now, this is valid until the end of March, so jump on the website, simplytogood.com.au, and enjoy. Now, all I need is my chopsticks. And to tell you about next week, before you go hello, don't leave me yet, next week I'm going to do 
a fabulous recipe. My daughter Rachel thinks this is her favourite recipe at all in book seven, but it's also in cooking for one or two, so it's a double whammy. It's the chicken cottage pie. It uses potato, frozen vegetables, and chicken. So think about it for next week. If you see chicken, buy 500 grams ready to go for next week. Anyway, I've got my fabulous lunch ready. Enjoy, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now.